I, one of the things I do in life is to go to beautiful hotels. I enjoy sleeping in hotels. How many of you like to sleep here? Now, if you go to this kind of hotel, I'm sure you will see God talking to you. He say, my son, my son. You will be very happy. Even you can imagine that Dangote is in the next room or the MD of Access Bank is in the next room. I'm sure because it is this kind of places that you find people here. But if you go to this kind of hotel, one of the things you will notice is this particular hotel. It's called the Fly Zoo Hotel. It's in China. Made, it is functioned by Alibaba. Now, for you to go to that hotel, when you go to the hotel, you can book online and you use your phone, you book online. When you get to the hotel, you will not see any reception there. No reception. So you go to those stills on the side there, and then you click the code they've given to you. When, you. when you confirm the code, you just look at the screen there. It takes a picture of you and allocates you a room. You will carry your own bag, your own bag, and then you go to your room. When you get to the room, you look at the door, and then you press a button. The, the, the camera will now take a picture of you to confirm because it uses facial recognition, facial recognition. Then you enter. When you enter into the room, at a certain point, you want to have lunch or you want to have dinner. You use the iPad given to you and then you press and then they bring a robot will bring the food for you now what does this what what am i saying is that jobs are becoming expired for people without skill and we are talking digital skill if you are not updated in your digital understanding you may be out of job at the end of your tenure you will not you will not have anything only periodically one or two house cleaners will come and clean your room now, I went to the US and fortunately for me, my friend said, he just entered his room and said, Alexa, put on the light. I was looking for Alexa. I didn't know what Alexa was and got up and lights came on. I said, where is Alexa? I didn't see any Alexa. I did not know it was one small black knob in the middle there, that black thing you see there. Alexa, open the door. My goodness, I was seeing film trick. Technology has come to disrupt everything. So the question is, how ready are you? A lot of us are dependent on government that because you have graduated, now government should open all the banks to give you a job. It's not going to work like that. Now, this beautiful girl graduated some years ago, and then we decided that she was going to get a job. So for four or five years, she had not developed herself. Somebody told her, look, there's a native doctor in my village who can help you and predict your future. So she went to meet the native doctor. And the native doctor said, I have two calabashes, one with white sand, one with black sand, that there's a millipede that I'll throw. If the millipede enters into the circle with the white sand, know that your future is br you're bright. But if it enters into the circle with black sand, know your future is bright. So they put the millipede there and they began to play drums. As they were playing the drum, the millipede was going to the circle with the white sand. And everybody was happy. Even me that I heard the story, I started dancing. I was excited that our future is excited. And as the millipede was going into the circle with the white sand, now me, I was excited. They played it faster. The millipede was going faster. Just at the edge of entering into the circle with the white sand, the millipede changed his mind and started going towards the black sand side. Now, they thought it was the type of music. So they stopped the music. The millipede did not stop. but running faster. Now, the millipede was running to the circle with the black sand. At just at the edge of entering into the millipede, the, the calabash with the black sand, the millipede, the woman stood up, went to the millipede, caught the millipede with her hand, put it in the circle with the black sand, and, and, in the white sand, and killed it. Then they asked the girl, why did you do that? She said, she cannot be alive and see her future go by. Nobody owes you anything. If you are going to predict your future, it will demand you create it. They ask the question, how many of you have developed yourself digitally? You need to get involved in the digital space. There's one of my cousins I'll show you very soon. Let me give you some facts. In 1960, the population of Nigeria was 46 million. UK that colonized us was 52 million. So we got independent. By 2015, UK became 62 million. They increased by 10 million. But Nigeria, we increased to 185 million people. We increased by 129 million. You remember we were owing them 6 million. So we returned their 6 million. So what happened is that it was as if a father would just marry a woman and you just get, buy one, get seven free, and name his children Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, public holiday. You know, that's how they name the children. Now, when they name the children like that, you'll be surprised that these are the kind of things. Population report says we're over 180 million, 250 ethnic groups, 500 languages. It also states that there are 15 million people that have jobs only out of this population. So if you do your dependency ratio, your dependency ratio is for everyone that has a job, 
I have at least three people you are feeding. Everybody here, you are paying school fees for your auntie's daughter. You are paying school fees for your brother's their daughter. You have at least three people you are feeding. And that is the kind of level that some of you are and some of you will be because people will be depending on you. It is reported that in that same report that 75% of, the, of, the, of Nigeria are youth under 45. Every single person on this side, you are under 45. And it is said that 40% of these people cannot be employed. Why? Because they don't have skill. Nobody is interested in your qualification. They're interested in your skill. What soft skills have you developed? Jack Ma said last year that in 2030, 800 million jobs will be taken because we are fighting robots. Your age, your height, your color does not affect anything. You must position yourself to take over. Because if you are not ready for it, when you go and apply it with your CV, they will tell you human beings are expired. You need to get yourself intact, in, in digitally ready. I asked myself that if I don't become relevant on social media, of what use am I? Because the communication skill now has changed from email to social mail. And it is going from one level to the other. The Gatwick International Airport has broken records after the other. Over 42 million people use this airport. Nigeria has as much as 31 airports. 25 of them are managed by farm. And guess what? Five of them are international. Put all those airports together. They don't meet Gatwick International Airport. And I found out that the owner is a Nigerian man. Nigerian man. So the problem is not your country. The problem is us. We must get ready to take advantage and position ourselves to be relevant. Now, Apple has a particular game which they sell, they sell called Mechamon. It is $300 for one. No other company sells this Mechamon. It's used as a virtual gaming robot. It is sold for 108,000 Naira, $300. No other person. Now, whoever created this is rated as the highest robot, highest paid robotic engineer in the whole world. And the guy was here in Nigeria last week. He's a 27-year-old boy, Silas Adekule, Nigerian boy. He's the highest paid robotic engineer in the whole world. If Silas can become this, so can you. You need to tamper with your thinking and stop thinking current. You need to think 50 years in advance. My uncle, Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, I claim the man as my uncle. I claim him. The man put a tweet and said in that tweet that I want to appoint ministers in 2017. And it, by 5 p.m. he released the tweet and he appointed one of my friends, Mo, I mean, Oman Bil Sultan Al Olama, 27-year-old boy with a mission to, to, uh, 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 as a minister for artificial intelligence. And his job description was for him to put what they call it in, how Dubinians will live in planet Mars in the year 2117, 100 years in advance. A 27-year-old boy, he is taxed with that responsibility. How his own babies will live there. They are not thinking of today. They are thinking of their next generation. If you are thinking of what you eat today, you are thinking late. Because people have already started thinking 100 years in advance. Digital revolution, digital plans, and what Great Job NG is doing is to set you to start thinking for the next level. What we are stuck here in this our mindset is that free food has killed us. You wake up in the morning, your father, your mother gives you food, and you eat it. Then by 11 o'clock, you're watching Telemundo Z World. And then by four, 2 o'clock, you eat pounded yam with, with uh, wofe were. You have to push the meat because you need to look for the soup. You swallow. By 4 p.m., you're watching National Man, you Chelsea. You know when La Liga is starting. You know when Championship is starting. You know the seasons. You know when Thierry Henry was born. You know when Rooney got married. The wife with the school she went to. The teacher that taught the wife. You can tell everything about her. You can even tell everything about complete football but you cannot tell anything about your complete life then by 6 p.m. your sister is back from work because she is doing keto she doesn't eat carbohydrate so you look at the food and you say Kolewek you go out to town 
and then you eat maybe two wraps of condensed, maybe uh, what they call that in croaker fish, and then you swallow two bottles of Odeku to step down. After one month, two months, one year, two years, three years, four years, you go to a church and say there's a witch in your family. Who is the witch? Your mother and sister that gave you free food. Anybody that gives you free food stops you from thinking. You need to take control and take your life by your hand because next time you'll be discussing PDP, APC, politics, you'll be discussing every single thing. Hunger is the gift of God to man. You need to get hungry. I retired from my work, from my business three years ago and I said I needed to get hungry again because success is the first enemy of success. And I hope every single one of you here is hungry because there are people here to feed you. My name is Ubon King and have a fantastic day. Remember, you cannot grow beyond your imagination. Our problem is not our location. Our problem is our thinking. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be second class citizen. I refuse to be intimidated. It is what you agree you have. If you can think enough, what you have is more than enough. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish and subdue. Build this whole earth. Pain is the down payment for gain. If you are still satisfied in that face, man, start playing out, so be it. Prepare for disruption. Incation is loading. How hungry are you? Come on! I can't do one loose people in the house. Stop my name, say ahu! Incation 2020. Bigger and better. Do not be left out.